That tomahawk, though. <laughs> that sniper, though. What is going on, everybody? My name is Hot Noobs, and those were some dope-ass clips that I hit yesterday. I sent one out to Straight Up Knives. You know, I know he does the knifing tomahawk. He does a kick-ass little thing with his, uh, his subscribers and his fan base on Twitch, where he allows people to come in, and they do the final kill cam tomahawk challenge or whatever, and it's so much fun. And that somewhat inspired me to even just throw tomahawks on and have a little bit of fun and just go for dumb, shit like that. I've... I actually tweeted that video to him and said, hey, this would be a dope ass, you know, final kill cam. And he's like, dude, I never even thought about that spot. I thought it was pretty kick ass that uh, um, I was able to send him some ideas and I was able to hit that clip. The funny thing about that clip was is my son just got home from school and had a tomahawk on. He asked me, so what do you got tomahawks on? I said, I'm trying to call him for just stupid dumb clips. He's like, where? And I shit you not. I was like, right here. I jumped up on that rock and I immediately jumped over and I threw and I nailed it. And I knew I was going to hit because... For one brief second, if you guys go back and pause, you can see somebody standing there. And I've jumped up and hit marker a sniper shot there. So you can jump up and, you know, and no scope snipe over there and get lucky. Um, I don't know where I've seen it at, but I've seen somebody do something crazy off that wall one time. I don't know if it was like face Carl trying some shit. So it's always inspired me to try, you know, to do something like that. And that sniper shot, I've been trying that sniper shot for months. And I shit you not, man. With... Every sniper rifle I've tried it with, I just never could get lucky. And I threw that one on, and probably about my third attempt of doing it, uh, I was able to hit it, man. I thought it was pretty kick-ass, so I wanted to show it with you guys. Share, you know, if you guys enjoyed it, you already know what to do. This gameplay, though, I'm running around with the VMP slapping. We were down by, like, I think 12 or 13 at one point in time, and I come through and absolutely decimate this lobby. I mean, backpacking is an understatement when it comes to this gameplay. Um, and I do my fair share of backpacking. I don't consider myself to be a great player, but I do consider myself to be that player that you want on your team. That if my shot is on, I can run with the best of anybody, whether you're on my team or against me. I can hold my own against anybody. But my shot was on this game. And uh, you see I'm running around. I think that's a Spectre or whatever. I don't know what the fuck it is. He got the gun. It's, I don't know. Anyways, hope you guys enjoy the gameplay nonetheless. I'm going to throw a picture up on screen right here. And basically what it is is Charlie Intel uh, let us know that it's going to be double weapon XP. And that's what I want to talk to you guys about today is that what do you think uh, with Treyarch or do you think it's a possibility? Because we know now that uh, supply drops is going to be very much so a part of Call of Duty from here on out. Advanced Warfare, you know, if it wasn't for uh, uh, supply drops, the game would have fucking bombed really really bad i believe they probably made more money off supply drops which isn't really hard or far fetch hard to imagine um off of supply drops than they did with actual sales of the game and with dlc and everything i just believe they definitely hands down made more money when it comes to supply drops because i spent money on supply drops because i was going for those kick-ass you know pay to win guns now black ops 3 has did it somewhat different and you know from some of the conversations that i had with bond about supply drops i knew about supply drops before anybody else did uh, he didn't ever confirm it to me but it was definitely a topic of conversation at times, which kind of, you know, I'm not the smartest person in the world, nor am I the dumbest, which kind of led me to believe I knew there was going to be some uh, some type of supply drops or something involved like we have now. Um, but in my opinion, they did it right to an extent. Uh, I hate that the percentage of, the, you know, of you winning, the possibility of you winning, I hate that it's just too low. Uh, I've spent probably about $150 on supply drops, and I've gotten... I gotten everything, but I what I don't want. I haven't got the MX Grand. I haven't got the uh, the, the the submachine gun, and those aren't two guns I really give two shits about. Now, some people are like, oh my god, I can't believe you spent that much money. I can promise you, it's going to be either someone very young saying that or old. Either way, I'm gonna tell you this right now. If you're very young, I promise you, you will waste more money on stupid shit more so in your life than what I did on supply drops. I, you'll either drink it, piss it out when it comes to drinking, and or the old people out there. Get the fuck out of here and stop worrying about what I do, you punk bitch. So, at least the young... See, I can teach the young ones. You old guys is like, get the fuck out of here, cornball. <laughs> I spend my money how I want to spend it, whether you like it or not. You do yours the same way. So, so my question or my theory to you is, do you think that they will eventually allow us to be able to buy XP? You know, to, to be able to get... Instead of just giving us this weekend thing... You know, because right now, crypto keys are just so hard to come by. They take forever. It takes a couple games, uh, a couple hours, should I say, for you to be able to get a rare supply drop. But would you be willing to pay a dollar 
to have double crypto keys for 24 hours? Would you be willing to pay that? Like, I don't know, it's just food for thought. I don't know if I really came up with the right formula, what would work really well and what would be what would you be willing to pay? Some people are like, oh, I'm not paying anything. Well, then obviously this question or this topic that I'm talking about doesn't really pertain to you. And you can keep it moving. My computer keeps making noises. I need to fix that fan. But for the people out there that, like myself, that really want to get these guns, um, you know, would I be willing to pay a dollar for maybe, oh, I don't know, uh, maybe, I don't know. I don't know what I'd be willing to pay. I have to really see how it works out. But what would you be willing to pay to get double XP or double weapon XP? Or, you know, if you're like, okay, I want to get 100% challenges done in this game. I need to get my weapons leveled up. I want to pay a dollar for 24 hours to have double XP for it. I don't know. I don't think that's really that far-fetched of a question. So let me know in the comment section below. Do you think it's possible? Do you think it might be coming? Is Treyarch listening to me? They're probably not. But I don't think it would be a bad idea. I really don't. So let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. Also, how do you feel? Have you got the new weapon yet? Because I haven't, man. I want that MX Grand. So every time I pick up that fucking MX Grand, I fucking shred buttholes with that damn thing. So if you enjoyed the gameplay and or the commentary, you already know what to do. Feel free to beat your balls to that thumbs up button. I do appreciate your support as always. With that being said, it's your boy Hunt Noobs. Woohoo, I sang for you. I'm out this bitch. Does this get wet, son? Woohoo! God, man. And you watch other people for entertainment and you don't want to come see me. The best in the business, baby. I'm about to pass out.